Hey everybody, coming back at you to answer one of the questions that I received. What do you do if you have a reoccurring product? So let's say you're selling a monthly subscription or a service. Um, for instance, a missed call text back service, which is an awesome service for small businesses. You know, if the phone's ringing all the time and they can't answer it, well, we have a, a software solution to uh, get back in touch with those people. So if you are selling that service, what do you do if um, all of a sudden the monthly um, a payment fails? So that person, you know, they may decide to cancel and not tell you, or uh, it's more likely that, uh, you know, the credit card, uh, you know, a new one got issued with a new date or like I just got a new one for my bank. Then I had to go through and update all of my credit cards. Well, uh, if you've got a pretty big agency and you've got several people, you don't want to miss any of those monthly payments. So what do you do? Uh, I'm going to show you in today's video just a super easy way uh, how you can track that. So follow along with me. Let me just make this a little smaller here. I am inside of my favorite software, Go High Level. And, um, you know, if you're brand new to Go High Level and you need some help, uh, reach out. I've got a couple of uh, inexpensive memberships that will uh, help you get over the tech hurdle. Uh, but if you're an old pro, you know that I am inside of what we call workflow. So I'm just going to start right there. Quick little thing in case you've missed some of my other videos. Up here at the very top under settings, here's a best practice tip. Pay attention, kids. All right. Um, automatic uh, or allow re-entry is automatically turned on. But let me show you two more tips that's going to save you some time. Under sender details, if you click that little tag, go to user and then username and then here, user, user email. All right, and I'll show you why that's going to save you a lot of time in a minute. And then down here at the bottom, conversa conversations mark as red. So always do that when you create a new uh, automation. So now let's jump over to the builder and let me show you all the goodness here. Let me zoom in so I can make this a little bigger so you don't have to... Uh, Put on your bifocals here. So as you know, we have to start out with a trigger. In other words, what starts this whole chain of uh, reactions? So when you click on trigger, here is a beautiful trigger called payment received. So if you just type, start with a P, start typing payment, payment received, that is going to take you there. Let me zoom out just a hair so you can see the the big picture and then I'll zoom back out. Okay, so the trigger you're looking for is <clears throat> payment received. And then the default name is just payment received. I like to um, append or, um, you know, add something more to that title. So when I'm glancing over this, I know uh, what this is. So I have a membership, my Digital Business Academy and membership. So I'm just saying if the payment was received. Now, uh, this is uh, the key part here. Most of the services that we sell, we sell it through a funnel page and through like an ongoing subscription. So the first filter you want to put is the source is a funnel. Okay. The transaction type is customer not present subscription transaction. So let me talk about that just for a quick minute. What does that mean? In other words, something happens automatically in the background and that's what you want. Because if somebody signs up, so if somebody signs up for my software, I get them set up and then every month you have this transaction happening in the background basically without them there swiping their card. So that's the key, that's what you wanna look for. And then the payment status is. In this instance, what we're looking for, we want to just capture those people who have a failed payment, all right, that the payment did not go through. And that's that's the main gist here of this workflow. So again, payment received is the trigger. And 
stop the video just take a screenshot of this if you need so that you can go back and find it so I'm going to click on save the trigger and then <clears throat> Remember I said under settings uh, to put the, where it says username, user email, you always, the first step you want to do in your workflow automations is assign a user. So I've assigned my user here, Debbie Starr. And once I do that, as I build out the emails, uh, anything else that I do, it knows to use my custom values. It knows to use my signature because I've married those two things together. Do you see how that's going to save you time? And then the first thing that I do is I put in an internal notification. And when we look at this, notice I've left the from name and from email blank because I've already signed it to a user and it's pulling it from the settings. So I don't even have to do any of that. And here on my <coughs> uh, subject, I'm just putting failed payment. You can put anything you want. This is an email that's just coming to me. And here I'm just saying contact name so I know who it was, payment failed. And so then depending on the size of your business, uh, whether you're doing it or you have an admin doing it, then you can, you'll get these emails and you'll know, okay, I need to go check with Joe to see what happened, all right? So that's under the internal notification. And then under the next thing I would do is I would fire off, I would fire off both an email and a text message. And again, I don't have to um, fill out the, the name and the from, and then a, just a quick little gentle email. Oops, the payment failed. I'm just saying your reoccurring invoice for whatever the service is uh, that you're selling, missed call, text back service, whatever it is, failed. Did you change your card or did it expire? And then one more little tip click here to update your payment record now if you are using stripe uh, under stripe uh, which will be a different video you can capture a link to share with people it's basically a self-management portal um, that people can go to they can't get into your stripe account but they can change their credit card so i would definitely do that because you want to make it as easy as possible for your people okay so uh, you could just tell them to do that and then i'm reminding them do this so that you don't miss out on your business opportunities remind them why they want to keep paying you every month and then i just offer to help them um, if they need help okay and again i probably would also wait a minute or two and send out a text message now somebody asked can <clears throat> if the payment fails can I just automatically turn off their service you can so in this automation here workflow you could continue to add whatever so if you have um, you know given them access to a membership or uh, any any of these things you could go through and <clears throat> turn that off so to speak uh, let me say this though I would not be quick to the draw to turn it off I might build in a wait time okay so I might put in a wait condition I don't know maybe like a, a seven day wait or three day wait whatever it is um, because you just never know like I say this just happened to me my credit card uh, got updated and you know sometimes it takes me a few days to sort through everything so don't be super quick to yank the um, rug out from under them but then after the seven day wait you know then you can continue to build in whatever you need to all right is that make making sense okay so that's um, in a quick little uh, nutshell if you have people that are purchasing something on a reoccurring pattern, you could set up an easy little payment received or fail and do the workflow and you're good to go. Now, if you need help with this, uh, I also do what I call my launch audit. So uh, if you just need somebody to go in and kind of look at the back end, uh, pretty inexpensive service, uh, reach out and I can give you details on that. Or if you want uh, daily coaching and support, then think about joining my Digital Business Academy. 
Academy. All right, thanks for watching, and hey, if you want, if you catch this on uh, YouTube, hit the subscribe button. I would love to grow my channel. Thanks so much. See you in the next one.